Your morning news now. Jeffrey Epstein signed his will just two days before he committed suicide in a New York jail. That's according to new court records, which show Epstein's estate is worth more than $570 million. He killed himself while awaiting trial on federal sex trafficking and conspiracy charges. Several of Epstein's alleged victims have said they will go after his assets for damages. New this morning, former Winona State University men's basketball coach Mike Leaf died Monday at the age of 58. He was with the team for 28 years, 17 of them as head coach. Well, we've got some showers and a few thunderstorms uh, over our far southern and uh, southwestern parts of the viewing area. So those of you in southeastern Minnesota, northeastern Iowa have the best chance of seeing a few of these storms this morning. Some additional storms over uh, south central and also northern Minnesota may creep into parts of the areas we head into this afternoon and evening. FAA investigators are looking into the crash of a small plane in Vernon County. It happened last night near the Viroqua Airport. Authorities have not confirmed how many people were involved. We are expecting more information later today. You know, if you park your car on the side of the street, maybe get that, make sure that you're securing it during daylight hours because anytime a criminal sees an opportunity, they're going to take an opportunity. La Crosse police are reminding drivers not to leave valuables in their cars after more than two dozen car break-ins were reported over the weekend. The break-ins didn't happen in any specific part of town. If you have any information, call Crime Stoppers at 784-TIPS. The school district of La Crosse is supporting a statewide ban on Native American mascots. Districts all around Wisconsin are being asked to vote on whether to support a resolution calling for new legislation that would force districts to retire those mascots. According to the resolution, more than two dozen Wisconsin districts still have mascots featuring Native American imagery or symbolism. Members of the La Crosse School Board voted unanimously to support the measure last night. Starting today, crews will be working on more highways in our area. Delays are expected to be minimal, but drivers should still be aware of the potential for delays. The work is being done on Highway 61 near La Crescent, as well as Highway 16 and 44 near Hoka. Happening today, veterans have another chance to learn about the Mission Act. The Toma VA is hosting a town hall tonight about the law, which is meant to open up more health care options for veterans. The town hall starts at 5 at Winona American Legion Post 9. If your water comes from a private well, there is a special water testing event happening today. Even if your water tastes and smells good, you're still encouraged to get it tested for contaminants every year. Reps with the La Crosse County Health Department will be at the West Salem Library from 4 until 7 today, providing well water testing kits and answering any questions. Uh, this is a great way to end the summer, to have a, a one more nice local low-key event uh, for, fa for families of, with kids of all ages and a great way to close out your summer. Summer is coming to a close and the final party in the park of the season is tonight in La Crosse. The events are part of the Cooley Parenting Connections parenthood effort. There will be live music and inflatables for the kids to play on and there is no cost to attend. It starts at 530 at Pettibone Park. We do have a slight chance for a few showers and thunderstorms today. Otherwise, partly sunny, increasing humidity. Highs in the cross in the middle 80s. Thanks so much for sharing your morning with us. We hope you have a great Tuesday. We'll look forward to seeing you right back here tomorrow morning.